For each of the values of n and d given in one through six, find integers q and r such that n equals d times q plus r and zero is less than or equal to r, which is less than d. Now, if you do positive 45 divided by 11, you get roughly four with a remainder of 111. So this would be 4.0909, so on. Similarly, negative 45 divided by 11 is negative 4.0909 repeating. What's difficult here is recognizing what my quotient and remainder is here. Very often we get used to assuming that whatever this number is, that's our quotient. If 45 divided by 11 is a little bit over four, then we assume that the quotient is four and the rest represents a remainder. The problem with this way of thinking is that for negative numbers, if I say that my quotient is negative four, then this remainder here, what's to the right of the decimal point, would be negative, not positive. Whereas here, the remainder is positive. Yet in the division algorithm, we require that the remainder be positive. So this leftover portion here, this 0 0.0909 repeating, cannot represent my remainder because of this negative symbol here. So let's investigate further into what I mean. We can write negative 45 as negative four times 11, which is negative 44, but then my remainder would be negative one, which is not allowed since my remainder has to be non-negative. It has to be at least zero. But I can rewrite this as negative 45 equals negative five times 11, which is negative 55. But you might say, hey, aren't we overshooting the number 45? Well, not quite. We're trying to find a number divisible by 11 that's less than negative 45. And the, the next number that's less than negative 45 that's divisible by 11 is negative 55. So if we say that negative 45 equals negative five times 11, then my remainder will be positive. In this case, it'll be positive 10. So it's important to understand that it's an incorrect application of the division algorithm if you have a remainder that's negative. The remainder has to be non-negative. It has to be at least zero. Now this one works. We should also mention that if we keep going, negative four equals negative six times 11 plus 21. This doesn't work either, but specifically because my remainder is too big. The remainder has to be less than D, which in this case is 11. And so that's why the proper quotient Q is negative five and R is 10 even though it's tempting to say that the quotient is negative four. Now, if I were to approach this division algorithm problem, I would put negative four here, and then I would add 44 to get a remainder of negative one. But this is an incorrect application of the division algorithm. It's important that my remainder is in between zero and 10. And so instead of picking negative four, I should have picked negative five, so that this was positive 55, and my remainder would be 10. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.